This is Ken here at MrTruck.com. And for this video series, I'm partnering with TransWest Truck Trailer RV north of Denver. And what we're trying to do is cover trailering tips. We know how dangerous trailers can be or how intimidating they can be. So we want to give you some advice and tips, some special uh, features that may make it easier for you to get used to it and do all the fun stuff. Well, this is Ken with MrTruck.com. I've partnered with TransWest Truck Trader RV north of Denver to try to give you some trailering tips and some good rig information on what you might want to do, whether it's trail riding or you know any of the normal things you would do. And today we're going to talk about these overland vans. Overlanding is a big deal. Everybody wants to go get away from the world. They want to get away from the town. They want to go out in the country and get some fresh air and enjoy the scenery. So it's really taking off like crazy. And of course, to do that overlanding property, you've got to have a real nice rig, like a four-wheel drive, right. diesel, a few other things. But also, you know, it's, it can be your daily driver, but we also like to pull trailers. And, you know, these are both rated 5,000 pounds, which will pull, you know, side-by-side -side jet skis, small travel trailers. We've got a horse trader on here, so you just got to watch your weight to make sure you don't go over the gross of 5,000 pounds. And then you can take your horse camping with you because a lot of people like to trail ride with a short rig. As you get up in the mountains and you're going to go through some trails that aren't exactly level or you're driving through sagebrush or whatever you're going to end up doing. <laughs> so to have something that can go anywhere, do a little bit of fording water crossings and all that with a smaller trailer and get your horses way up there. That's, that's a cool thing. Your other choice, you know, is a big living quarters like an RV type thing with the horses in the garage. And then you go to a, a nice level spot when you unload. With these, you can go anywhere. So that's what we're going to talk about today. And I have today AC. He's a he's an RV salesman here at Trans West, and he knows what he's talking about. So I want him to tell me all about these two vans. They're both Mercedes. They're very similar. The two vans we're going to compare today to see what you might want to take to the high country is both Mercedes, and they're both four-wheel drive diesels. So they're very close in a lot of areas, but. This is the Winnebago Rebel, correct? And what's this one called? It's the Antara Adventure Motors. This is the Long's Peak Edition. Oh. And then they also make a Pike's Peak, which is on the Ford Transit chassis. Oh, still made in Colorado. They're still on... made here, just about 20 minutes from here. That's awesome. It's, That's awesome. It comes in really handy if you've got any, any questions. Our rep always comes out and helps me with our walks. Uh, he'll meet with customers, answer. We carry a Ford Transit one and a Mercedes chassis. Well, that's good. You got choices. That's nice to have. But this is cool. These are really well equipped. You can sleep in them. You do all kinds of things, which is what you want, like you'd have in a living quarters. So this is just another option to go trail riding with your, your toys or your horse or whatever you want to do. It's a big deal now, this overlanding thing. So we're going to go over all the details of these two vans, explain them and explain the differences and what, what you can do with them. So come join us. Okay, AC, what's under the hood? Well, let's check this out. All right, so this 2022 Winnebago Revel, uh, it's Mercedes V6, uh, six cylinder turbo diesel. It's got 188 horsepower, 325 foot pounds of torque. Pretty basic under here, under the hood. Everything you need to access is really handy. The main points I always like to point out is if you need a jump start, here's your positive terminal. You push in and turn, and then you've got your ground over here on the right. Cool, that makes it easier if you ever run down the battery. Yeah, that, you know exactly where everything's at. Here's your windshield washer fluid. If you've seen any of my other videos, you know I always point out the flux capacitor. That's super important. Cool. Any questions, you can always call me directly on that. Um, important thing to point out on this too, you don't want to forget where your latch is at. I've had people pull down on the hood. It will crease the hood if you pull down. You want to make sure and lift up. Cool. And then that's your def tank right there. Yep, you got a def tank, everybody's favorite. Yep. Right here. Cool. You've got your coolant. Everything you need right right there handy. Well, that's awesome. It's all labeled right. And a lot of those have clear bottles so you can see the brake fluid level and is that washer fluid in that one? Ah, uh, this is gonna be your coolant. Yeah, okay, yep. that's for your radiator. And that's for your brakes. So it's nice to be able to have those clear kind of containers okay oh, cool make sure it's the right color make sure it's not looking a little muddy under there yeah as we walk around the outside here a couple things i want to point out this is a 
an off-road vehicle, it is a 4x4, but the previous customer ordered this with the standard wheels and tires. So it doesn't have the beefy tires that you see over on the other one that we have here that I'll be showing you shortly. Cool. But that is an option. This has the graphics on it, which you can do a graphics delete or you can leave them. A lot of folks like the graphics, so they leave them on there. We've got a nice little porch light up here on the top. And of course, we've got our carefree awning up there as well. Oh yeah, that looks like a pretty good sized awning. That will provide your, your shade for hot days like today. Also has an LED light. Oh wow. I want one of these. Yeah, super cool. It's got a wind sensor on it as well. So you can, if, it, if you're parked outside, you're camping, you're out there hiking a little bit. If you need uh, to take off for a few minutes, it's okay. If the breeze picks up gradually, it will uh, retract for you automatically. Enough room to get a couple lawn chairs. <laughs> yeah. Holy cow, that's a big awning. You can get a couch out here and everything. Perfect for a small wow. couch there, a couple lawn chairs, whatever I you need. I love it. I love it. You got it. the LED lights for nighttime. Yes. You can see those. They're right on the very edge. That is cool. I like the graphics. So as we come around here. Now tell me about this ladder. So this is just where you store the ladder while you're traveling. You don't really want to climb on here just because the door is not reinforced there. It's, okay. it's just made for storage. And then when you're oh. going to use the ladder, you take it off and you would move it around the side over here and I'll set it up for you. So once you set it up on the rack up top, now it's going to rest on this plastic trim down here. Okay. And then you can climb up here all you want. Oh good, so it won't mark things up that way. And nope. Awesome. You can get up there to clean the panels off, your solar panels. you got two solar panels up there. Cool. You're going to have your 30 amp shore power here. Oh yeah, just like any RV would. Yep. So the nice thing about the Revel is the lithium batteries will actually run your rooftop air conditioner. Wow. Uh, so you don't have to be plugged into a generator or shore power to run off of your batteries. The additional alternator under the hood also charges your lithium batteries. Uh, so you can run your air conditioner for you know several hours while you're out and about. Well, how many lithium batteries does it have? This has two lithium batteries. Wow. It's got a Xantrax inverter. Oh, that's not a lithium battery. That's a toilet. No, this <laughs> is a, the new high-tech lithium battery. Really? This is actually your cassette <laughs> toilet. <laughs> this is a five-gallon cassette toilet. Oh, cool. So it's got wheels on there. You can wheel it to the nearest uh, drain, porta potty. Sure. Wherever you're going to dump it fits in the overhead compartment in the airplane if you really want to get some attention. Oh, really? Wow. They let you carry that on aircraft. That's awesome. <laughs> but you know, it's a lot of people dry camp. A lot of people like me don't dry camp. We want all the stuff. Right. So definitely I want that. That's cool. Well, that makes it really easy. Uh, yeah. You don't have to move your whole van to go dump your tanks. Sure. Uh, certainly. Down here, I want to point out you got your black or your gray tank drain. Okay. And again, this does not have a black tank because it has the cassette toilet. But okay. You've got your gray tank under here. This is where you would hook up your sewer hose. And right there's the valve where you would open that. Well, that's good. It's almost up where the running boards are. Yeah, so you don't get caught up. You. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. So you can see up here we've got another outdoor light. So when you're out camping, you've got plenty of light around the van. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yep. Now, what in the world is this hump? I so, see a hump. <laughs> That's uh, if you're a little taller than five foot, you might want a little extra space when you sleep. Oh. And those little pop outs actually give you your leg room and your head room when you're laying down on the bed in here. Oh, wow. Oh, that's cool. So, how tall can you be and sleep in this? You know, I've had guys that were 6'2 and they just fit in there. Um, wow. So, you can, you know, if you're a little taller than that, you might want to consider something different. Well, that's uh, incredible. But this is really nice, and the bed will actually move all the way up to the top. It's a push button. Okay. So, uh, it'll go all the way up to the air conditioner. And then that way you can store bikes under here, store larger items while you're traveling. Oh, sure. On this left side here, let me show you here, we've got our main disconnect for the inverter. Okay. We've got our light under here. It's what we call our garage light. So if you're oh, uh, yeah. out at night and you want to grab something from under here, you can just turn that on. Cool. And then you've got a couple out USB ports here. And oh, then yeah. 
That's important, important stuff. And then you've got a, a port there for an external solar panel. Oh. So if you want to carry an extra solar panel, you can plug it in there. Set I like it down that idea, ground. yeah. Right here on this side, we have our water, our water bay. So basically, this is your outdoor shower, hot and cold water. If you want to take the sand off, off your feet before you get in the coach. Everything is color coded, which is really awesome. You know, if you need to fill your tank, sanitize, winterize, everything is really easy to do here. This is where you would plug in your hose to fill your tank. Oh yeah. Super simple. There's a water pump switch here, so you can turn it on and off back here for your shower. You don't have to run inside to do it. And this actually turns on the light on the side of the coach. Cool. Well, it's nice to have all these extra tie downs too, I see. Yep. There's six of them. You've got six of them across the bottom here, so you can tie down you know, anything that you've got under here. I've got guys that put bikes under there. Yeah. Um, you know, they'll put skis. I mean, there's a lot of room. If you look all the way, it goes all the way up to the front seat. So you can fit some pretty long items under here. Oh, yeah. And run them all the way up in between the two captain's chairs up front. Now, all those tracks up front, that's for the bed? That's for the bed, yep. That's not where you tie it down to. Well, that's pretty awesome. And these kind of hold it up, these seat belts. Oh. It'll run on that track. There are. Oh, I see. There's a ram oh. mount right there on the side. You can see the skinny ram mount up there. Yeah. And then there's a seat belt latch that I'll show you inside that connects up there to hold it in place while it's up as a safety. Oh, that's pretty convenient. Wow, I like this. And oh. what's that, the screen thing? So you've got a nice bug screen back here and a blackout. Oh, yeah. So if you're up in the mountains and you want to get some fresh air going through here, also has access, so if it's closed and you need to get some stuff from under here, you can still do that. Oh, that's awesome. Another cool feature is it's got a magnet here, so you don't have to be zipping and unzipping. Oh. You can just pull this out. Oh, that's grab neat. what you gotta grab, get going. It sticks together. That's a, that's convenient. Yep. So this is not just a pretty van, it's functional. It's very functional, yes. It also has a tie right here. So if you want to leave the garage open. You can still access everything under here. Yeah. And this has got a step on the back? Yeah, this is actually does not come standard with the Rebel. It does come standard with the Antero van that I'm going to show you next. But because we're pulling the horse trailer with that one, I decided to move it onto this one. Makes it really easy to get up and down. If you don't have the step in the back, you can catch a shin really easy trying yeah. to climb up here. So figured a little safer. Well, that's good. You don't want to be wounded on your trip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's got, like you said earlier, 5,000 pound tow hitch. We've got a seven pin connector. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. Backup camera up top. Oh, cool. Okay, and you got one air conditioner. Of course, that's all you need. Yep, you got the rooftop, and then you got the one in the front of the van, obviously. And this does have a lock on it, so you don't want people stealing your ladder. Yeah. And the cassette toilet actually has a, a, a lock on it as well, so they don't steal your cassette. Well, that would be bad. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that somebody steals your bathroom. I don't want that. That could be bad. Don't go away, Mr. Chuck.TV. We'll be right back. storage area for your sewer hose it just flips open you put your hose in there that way it's not inside the van keeps it out of the out of the way and keeps everything from getting dirty you can see right here forgot to mention earlier but this is a 2500 chassis so if you need something with dual wheels uh, Winnebago there are several camper vans out there that uh, run on a 3500 170 inch wheelbase uh, dually so if you need a little bit more suspension under you or a little more space a lot of folks want a little bit more space inside and that's when they would step up to that bigger van so we could call this like a heavy duty correct okay well that's good back here you're going to have your sensors on this one uh, because i have this step on when i when i put it in reverse it's beeping at me because it's think somebody's standing behind the van right now right so, right i uh, just want to point that out and this isn't decked out with a lot of accessories but they do make 
storage boxes that'll go into these hinges. Oh. Uh, spare tire racks, ladders, they got all kinds of accessories uh, that you can, you can go through our parts department to get or go online. So right now the spare tire's underneath? Correct. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Last I'll show you. This has a diesel, it's a fuel fired heater inside. Oh. Uh, so the exhaust right here, a lot of times people ask me what's that? The little hose coming out of there, that is your exhaust. Oh, that is so cool. That way you don't have to have two kinds of fuel. Right. And diesel is a little safer anyway for combustion. You know, gasoline, you got to be careful with it. Right. And it's really efficient. Yeah. Um, I can tell you the one in this van uh, will run almost a full day off of one gallon of diesel. Wow. So that's, I like uh, that idea. That's a really nice feature. Yeah. No generator and your heat comes off a of diesel. <laughs> your AC comes off a battery. Exactly, exactly. This is really an outlander when it can go way out back. Yeah, you take it out and you just get away from everybody. I've got a couple buddies that have them and they really love them. There is a step here, I forgot to point out, right here in the bumper. That oh, yeah. works as a step if you need to climb up there to clean off your windshield. And then we can kind of talk a little bit about the inside of the van because, again, this is a self-contained unit. We'll start out here. Got a nice table here with the cable tie. They stopped doing the leg stands on them because if you're not, if you're up in the mountains, you might not be level all the time. So with this cable, you can actually adjust it to keep your table oh. fairly level, even if your van isn't. Well, that's good. Once your ketchup sliding off the table. <laughs> right. Again, you can see we've got a screen on this side as well. So you can have fresh air circulating. If you're up in the mountains, you're not going to need the air conditioner. You can just open up your screens. Oh, great. Get a breeze going through without the wasps and the bugs. <laughs> yeah. That's nice. We've got a nice heavy-duty ram mount grab bar here. I'm going to grab the induction cooktop that is stored in here on the Revel for the 22 model. It used to be in the counter. and Now they, they make it so you can actually take it out. So if I wanted to cook outside, I would plug it in right here and I'd cook outside. Well, that's convenient. It makes it really nice. Yeah. You can also set it up here on the countertop if you want to cook up here. Yeah, you can keep the heat out of there if you need to. And your refrigerator is easy to access from outside. Oh, that's, that's a good idea. You can load it up straight from the grocery store. You never know when you want to reach in and get some orange juice or something. Right. Put your nice, I always have a monster in the fridge. <laughs> I don't drink coffee, but I do lots of monsters. I used to. My doctor says, no, no, yeah, they can't told, do that. They told me that, too. <laughs> <laughs> There's they, that countertop. That's pretty big with a sink. Yeah, and you've got a sink here. Um, you're going to have little overhead storage, which we can show from the from out there. But there's also an extension right here that goes into the counter, and I'll show you oh, here. Oh, where's, where's it's the under, extension? It's kept under the seat. Oh, here. oh. that's convenient. So again, if you're cooking outside or inside, you just put this in here and it locks oh, that's, in place that's and very you nice. have a, a counter extension. Yeah. And what was it? There was, what was in here? This is just storage? Yeah, just storage. Okay. You can never have enough of that storage. Right. Especially in a small van like this. Again, this is probably this is about 19 and a half feet in length. Uh-huh. So you want to get as much storage as you can. Here's the oh, bed. There you go. Taking off. Flying carpet. And you can stop it anywhere along the way, um, and you can actually sleep on it, but you lose the maximum length there once you get away from those cutouts. Oh, sure. Wow. Oh, jeepers. There you go. Here we go. Here's, here's your lithiums. Here's our two lithiums. There's an app that you can download that'll show you the levels on each. Uh -huh. that you can download on your on your phone. Here is your Xantrax 2000 watt inverter. Oh, 2000 watt, that's pretty good size. Yeah, for a small van it sure is. Yeah. And then you've got your battery, your heat warmers here, on and off. Your water tank, your fresh tank's actually under here. How big is that? Uh, 21 gallons. Okay. So, again, pretty, you know, they added in 22 this little pouch here for additional storage, and then you have a net down here that you can put some well, stuff cool. under yeah, there Yeah, you've well. got plenty of room back here to put bikes or ATV even fit in there, the smaller ones. Well, especially because it goes all the way. I mean, you can put, oh, yeah. you, you know, you can fit straight all, yeah. across from here until you get where you're going and then unload. <laughs> you can also carry a tent with you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, a bifold door into the shower toilet. 
This is it. I've had this on a horse trailer where it's all in one, and that makes sense. That you makes do it... two things at once, brush your teeth, take a shower, and go to the bathroom. <laughs> I like that. They give you these little shelves here so you can set it up as a, a closet while you're driving down the road. Oh, Pack yeah. some more stuff, and then when you get where you're going, you can unload everything. This will turn, so when it's time to use the restroom, you turn it that way. It gives you oh, a more leg room. that's even more convenient. Yeah, because that is a little close for wide bodies like me. What's behind that door? Well, that's a good spot to put your shampoo. Oh, shampoo. Cool. Yeah, this is awesome. I like this. And you, there your drain is, so it can all go away. Yeah, and, and it's got a little vent up here, which is nice. Yeah, a nice light. And then these magnets here help hold the door closed. Oh, it's got a latch, so... and it's got magnets that will help keep it. Cool. You got additional storage. Yeah. And they have these slam latches, which I really like. Oh, yeah, that's great. I wish mine had that. I might have to use bungee cords to hold my drawers shut. <laughs> is this a water pump, or what's this? Uh, it's actually to help your sink drain. It's, oh. it's not a garbage disposal, but when your water's running, you oh. hit that, it helps it go down. Oh, I'll be darned. And then you've got a nice little pantry right here. Yeah. That's where you put the long guns? No, it's not either. That's where you put the other stuff. Yeah, you can put the short ones in there because these shelves do come out. <laughs> so if you wanted to make it, well, you know, I'm sure you can make yeah. it work. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I like the slam shuts. Yeah, I, I have a customer who I talked to today. He's got an older one with the push button ones and he likes these a lot better. Here's yeah. another ram mount here on the side of the bed. Oh. So if you want to put, you know, a lot, they make a lot of accessories. You can do an iPhone holder, an iPad holder. You know, they make a lot of accessories that are going to that ram sure. mount. Sure. Well, I noticed in the bathroom, it's got a clothesline. Yeah. Uh, so you can actually hang your shirts in there when you're not taking a shower. Yeah. I like that. It's a closet. I've, yeah. had, I've had folks that'll do a, a shower rod that comes out to give you uh -huh. a little bit more space, right, a little right. more elbow room because it is kind of small. Yeah, I do that on my on my uh, toy hauler. So let me see. Let me get this off. Well, you probably have to get that off. It's the same slam latch, so it's pretty pretty okay. sturdy. We're just going to ask you about these latches. I understand the outlet for your cook cooktop stove. What yep. these other latches? So you've got That's your light. your oh. awning lights that we had yeah. out there. Just put your awning in and out. And this is going to be one of the outdoor lights on this side. Good. And then this is just your, uh, which light is this one? I think it's the one right under there. Or underneath the yeah. uh, cabinet. We get out of the way here. Kitchenette. Well, that's cool. And you can basically reach all that stuff from outside, which is really cool. Yeah, as soon as you pull up to your spot, you want your awning in and out, you just stand right here and you can bring it in. Wow. Turn on the lights. This is really convenient. Again, it does have a wind sensor. Living here in Colorado, you know we get some pretty big gusts. Yeah. <laughs> so I always tell folks, if you're gonna be gone for more than like 10, 15 minutes, um, I would just pull it in, just out yeah. of habit, because one big gust can take it, you know, can oh, sure. flip the awning over the top of your van and you don't wanna do that. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. So you got seats for two there, and then you got the captain's chair driver seat that you can spin around. That gives you three. Yep, you got three. You can share the table here. Yeah. And, and I can spin the seat around if you'd like. Storage down below, or what's in that compartment? Yeah, little cubby. Yeah. Cool. Up here, you've got your, it's going to be your furnace. This is the control for your bed. These are obviously all your light switches. You've got your tank levels here, your battery levels. Yeah. This is your Xantrax main battery disconnect. As you can see, it's got two batteries. Uh -huh. uh, so you have one and two, and then if you see them blinking, it means it's charging. It kind of gives you some nice little codes there. You've got your solar charge controller right here from Zamp Solar and the solar disconnect. So if you're gonna park it indoors, extend a period of times, you can shut off all Shut this off so it's not drawing any voltage. Oh, sure. And then there's your Xantrax controller. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> this little Max fan is cool because Max you can fan, actually yeah. you can actually set, turn it on, and you can set it so that if the temperature gets over 78 degrees, it'll come on. Oh, that's awesome. And, I see those in horse traders these days. That's awesome. Max fans. We get pretty. It gets pretty hot here. You can get hot or cold oh, real yeah. quick, so you've got to yeah. be prepared. And then up here, you even got more storage. 
You got a nice little spot up here. You're gonna have your blackout shades for the front windows. So up here, let me get my zoom out. Wow, what in the world is that? So these are gonna be your blackout shades for the front windows. Oh. So when it's time to go to sleep, you can block out all the sunlight. And then there's some nice storage up there as well. Yeah, that is good. Never have too much storage. And then even right above where the people drive, yep. you have some more storage by your old heck handle. Yep, you got uh, right over the visors, you got two nice little cubbies. Wow. This one's got the nice carbon fiber look, the 10 and a half inch screen. Yes. Here's your four by four. Okay. That's where you lock that, and here's your low. Mercedes Sprinters, all the new ones. Everything's on the steering wheel, so you can control your dash up here with this little mouse. Right. And these controls, this one controls your stereo. Oh. Now those cup holders up on the dash? We've well, got cup holders everywhere because wow. this is a Sprinter van. <laughs> yeah, I saw those there and I thought, wow, cup holders up on the dash. You're never going to go thirsty. Oh, goodness, look at that. I can plug in my phone right there. You got a wireless charging pad right down here. You cool. can plug in your phone, connect it to your stereo. Oh, yeah. It's a USB type C. Right. Always Fast make, sure, one. Yeah. make sure and point that out. Cool. Push button start. Super cool little van, simple, functional. Yeah, it looks like it's like, is it vinyls or is it leather? It looks like you can wipe it off and clean these pretty fast. If you have pets, they have hair going everywhere, you just wipe it off. Yeah. Really, really nice to have. That's good. I like a rubber floor, too, because, you know, if you're out there climbing the Rockies, you're going to get mud. <laughs> yeah. That's and so nice. They actually make a nice weather tech uh, mat that goes across that most of our customers oh, end up cool. purchasing as well. So. Cool. Well, let me get on out of this side. Pull that one off since oh, that well, look at that. It swivels all over. Both both front seats swivel? Yeah, they'll both swivel around. Oh, wow. And then once you have it swiveled, you can move it back, get it comfortable. I'll swivel the other one so you can see. Oh, wow. Now you can almost play cards. Yeah, it's a perfect little spot to play play some cards. Now what's down there? So this is going to be your your breakers and your fuses. Oh. So you've got okay. breakers here and then you'll have fuses on this side. Little land there and it comes out. Pops up, yeah. So you got three steps to get in. That's good. They're fixed running boards. Uh, they keep them fixed and they're wide enough that if you don't have a lawn chair with you, you can actually sit on the step. Oh yeah. Well that's cool. And now I find where your water drains are. Yep, here's all your low point drains, really easy. If you look under the van, you'd see the hoses coming out there. That's where you're oh, going to yeah. drain everything when that it's time to cool. do. Wow, this has got everything a big van does. Just yeah, that. just a little more compact. You can take it a lot of places. That's oh, the, yeah. the nice thing about these vans is you can get them out there and go way up in the mountains. My buddy that took his up there, he, uh, he probably takes the places you shouldn't. And uh, he has a lot of fun mountain biking. Well, yeah, you got to get to those cool destinations up where the eagles soar and have their nests. You got to <laughs> yeah. get way up there. This would fit a lot of trails. You happen to know how much uh, clearance it has? Uh, I wouldn't say eight inches to the okay. low point. It's probably right around eight inches. And that's your exhaust pipe back behind the running board? That's your exhaust, yep. Yeah. Yeah, awesome. And it's got the awning made in Colorado. Carefree Colorado, that's right. <laughs> Carefree awnings on all the all the Winnebago Revels, on the Intero Adventure Motor Vans as well. Cool. Ken with Mr. Truck here with a really exciting trailer accessory. You know, trailer tires is a big deal. You got problems, especially 100 degree weather like we're having this year. You know, you're gonna blow tires, and the tires are gonna blow, take out your fender, take out your clearance lights, and then you go sit there in the side road fixing your tire while your horses get hot. Sun coming down 100 degrees, no doors open and no fan. It's horrible. And I see it happen all the time, and so I go to higher ply tires, and I go to Tucson Tire Pressure Monitoring System. They got so many options. You can go with bands on the Alcoa wheels, that's such a small hole. You can go with the tire pressure monitoring where you have a valve stem and the, re and the relay below it, the transmitter. And then you can do the same transmitter on a band. And now the new one, I call them space balls, but they're actually tire pressure monitoring from Tucson ball sensors, like a ping pong ball rubber coated and you put this in your tire you, you crack open the bead throw it in there 
and it bounces around, goes right for a little while, and then once you get up to speed, it just sticks to wherever it's at. You know ahead of time what's going on. This gives you special alerts before if the tire pressure is too high, it goes off, beeps and flashes. Too low, it beeps and flashes. Same way with heat. And this will save you a lot of money. You know, price of a tire will pay for one of these puppies. And why would you not want to know what's going on with the trader tires?